We married at the Sacred Heart Church in Quextro, just off Kilburn High Road, and the other end was West End Lane. And uh, I took instructions for six weeks before the marriage because they did not want to marry a, Prot a Church of England girl to a person who'd been born and bred a Catholic, but of course by that time he he was more communistically inclined. He'd gone right off the Catholic religion. Yeah. Yeah. And uh, but my mother said get married in the church and you know, that's more binding so um, after six weeks I said to the priest thank you very much but I'm sorry it's not for me and he said well I don't know if we'll be, if we'll be inclined to marry you if you had become a Catholic through the instructions you know we would have married you well my brother heard about it I told him and I was upset and he said look um, I'll bring a pound pound note with me he said and give that to the priest and money means such a lot especially in religion I've found through the years and he gave the priest the one pound note it worked wonders and I was married which is very unusual at the high altar and then we posed for photographs in the gardens and a black cat walked across my path and I, I was very upset I said to my mother that means bad luck she said, no, it doesn't, it means good luck. But of course, she was just saying that. The, the expression was a superstition, <laughs> black cat, bad luck. And I always remembered that. My friends were all against it, even my boss, Miss Dron. She said, she'd never married, as the title suggests, Miss Dron. And she said, oh, Olive, she said, he's from, he's a Latin, he's hot-blooded. And I never really thought what she meant, and how would she know in any case? <laughs> She'd never married. <laughs> and she said, oh, do think seriously, but we'd both fallen in love. And I said to Laurie, if I reach the age of 32, I will be too old to get married. So we decided on November the 1st as the wedding day, when it fitted in with his leave. And uh, I would still be 31, because my birthday was in ne next January, I was going to be 32. And, uh, oh, my mother said, oh, I want you to have a white wedding. I didn't have one, and I want you. And I thought, oh, no, for heaven's sake, let me just get married in a suit, as was the thing in those days at the registry office, like she had done. But she felt she missed something in life. Right. So the idea was, and, oh, we went to all these shops one Thursday afternoon, which was my time off, Thursday afternoon from Drons. And I said, oh, that one would do. I'm fed up with this. That one would do. And it was beautiful. It was a satin dress, cream satin. When I, I still have it, and I look at the waist and wish I had the waist I had in those days, and it's a narrow waist, very slim. And it had sequins all down the shoulders. And, of course, it was the era of padded shoulders. As I said, I had the um, wedding dress hanging in the wardrobe. And the worst part about that was... I couldn't afford shoes, believe it or not, and I'd borrowed a pair of shoes from my best friend in London, Doris Dibb, and I'd painted them silver because I thought, well, well, not much would show because the dress was very long, but the toes and the heels might show when I'm walking up the aisle. So I painted them silver, and it hadn't dried properly, and on the hem of my bridal gown, there's still the silver stains. I left them there from those shoes I wore my relations they all turned up for my sake but they all foresee a, foresaw a gloomy future for me was there a reception like they had receptions today and where oh, was it so. it was in a tiny little hall a baptist church hall in kingsgate road which is more towards kilburn high road again northwest six end of london and i had a pianist and some sandwiches and just a few little queen cakes. They're plain little cakes. And no doubt somebody made those as an extra because my mother, she just could not afford it. Mm. And I was quite happy. I didn't want a big affair. And that was more or less normal for a lot of people because we were poor, Barry. So that was the reception that followed. Then back home to Mum's place. 